So yeah, in the off season, um, after Abu Dhabi, I tried to take sort of a break, just spend time with my family back in France, um, beat in Italy as well, and, and just, yeah, enjoy a bit more like social life uh, for a couple of days, around like 10 days. And, um, and then after straight back to uh, physical training, um, end of December, like with my, with my trainer, we went to the US beginning of 2019 to the um, training, Red Bull Training Center in Santa Monica. Um, yeah, just to really focus on the preparation. And I just wanted to be disconnected from everything in Europe, just focus on my training um, and, and be really focused on uh, preparing the season the, the best way possible. Uh, just racing, uh, really, you know, it's been always my dream to be driving for Red Bull since I joined the, the Red Bull junior, junior team in, in 2013. So, um, yeah, I know everything is real. I'm part of this team, was won some world championship in the past, um, was been fighting for victories every season. So, um, yeah, it's super exciting and super exciting. And that's what I'm the, the most looking forward to this year. So I will say it started like right at, in Melbourne, you know, like just starting my first full season um, in, in Formula One. Uh, with Toros, it was, was something pretty amazing. I had five races end of 2017, but now it was just like a full year preparing for 21 races with that team. So this was, was really special. The weekend just after uh, Bahrain was, yeah, clearly the... The, one of the biggest highlights of the season with the, with the fourth position, something we, we never expected. And even in our dreams at the beginning of the year, we, we never thought we would be able to, to achieve such a result um, early in the, in the season with uh, Onda uh, partnering for the first year. And uh, also, yeah, clearly the, the call um, from Helmut to, to tell me that I will become uh, Aston Martin Red Bull Racing driver for, for 2019. So what's new, I would say mainly the Honda engine, which is going to be a pretty big change uh, compared to the last few years. Um, and it's going to be the first year Red Bull and Honda uh, work together. So Honda already worked with Toro so last year, I think, which, which was really positive. Um, and also in terms of knowledge, it's still part of the Red Bull family. So I think this, all, the, all this experience will be shared uh, with the team, uh, but will be a yeah, start, a fresh start for, for Red Bull and Honda. In terms of uh, technical regulation, I would say mainly yeah, the front wings, um, the aero regulation uh, changes a bit and, and will probably have a pretty big impact on the performance, uh, on the racing, but all this we, we don't really know until we, we get on track and, and we see exactly what happens. Ah, that's what you always hope for, you know, you hope for better racing, uh, more exciting uh, races as well. And that's what we need to be able to follow each other. Um, in, yeah, is easier in an easier way. So at the moment, it's really uh, tough with the load of downforce you have and um, all the time you're following uh, another car. It's really difficult to get close. So hopefully this will help. But yeah, as I said, you know, we have some uh, theories, but at the moment, until we get on track and we, we can really prove it, uh, we, we don't really know. Yeah, I will say, like, just to um, continue my development, uh, you know, as a Formula 1 driver, I'm going to be only in my second season, so, of course, I know I still have a lot of things to develop on myself. Uh, I will be with Red Bull with a lot of experience, a lot of knowledge, um, also with Max, uh, who has been in the team already since many years. So I will try to take like all these positives to learn as fast as possible um, and, and yeah, just be able to extract the, the full potential of myself uh, as fast as possible. Uh, when I started to watch F1, uh, Michael Schumacher was winning everything and he's really the one that gave me the, the feeling, OK, I, told, I remember I told my parents I want to be like this guy on TV and like just spraying champagne every weekend because he was winning almost all the races and, and really give me the, uh, the feeling of wanting like to be, to be like, uh, like him for a one race winner and, and world champion. And then after, of course, uh, I, Jules Bianchi as well, uh, with who I, I grew up. So um, I, I had the chance to, yeah, 
spend a lot of yeah, time with him through the French Federation, the French team, some holidays. Um, and was really someone exceptional, just the mentality, the character, the, the driver and the person itself, himself. And uh, yeah, it was a really, a really great example to, to follow. I've been always big, big fan of uh, football, and um, and also yeah, especially Zinedine Zidane when I was uh, when I was younger. So that's also one of the reasons why I chose the number ten, um, because yeah, I was big fan of him, like super talented guy, really legend of of the sport and and yeah, in my in my country. Um, so yeah, I was big, big admirer when uh, I was younger and still now because when you see what he has accomplished as a player and also as a manager, which is a completely different role, uh, yeah, it's just a, a yeah, exceptional, exceptional person. I have, I have a couple I really like, so I would say let's start in terms of track. When you need to put everything together in Monaco, Driving at 310 uh, kph in between the walls and like trying to gain each single uh, centimeter to get closer to the walls in entry and exit, and, like the your heart rate is just so so high and gives you like a feeling which is impossible to reproduce in anything anything else I do in life. And uh, France, of course, uh, French French GP was. Something really, uh, yeah, really crazy. Um, last year I had the chance to experience it for, for my first season in F1. Fast food we avoid, like when you're like athletes, it's, it's something you, you need to avoid. Um, and then, yeah, like butter, especially being French, you know, like croissants, pain au chocolat, uh, fromage, all these things <laughs> we, we need to avoid. I'm not here to change the opinion of anyone, but for me, I really don't care about the age. I think it really depends on the maturity you have, um, the experience you have been through in the past, and then the way you, 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 you learned life, you know? So at the end, sometimes you can be 18 and a lot more mature than someone at 30 years old, and, and someone yeah, you can be 40 years old and still behave like a 15 years old kid, you know? The, there is no logic in this, so um, no, for me, it's only just a number and uh, yeah, I don't see any, any problem with it. At the end of the day, my target in Formula One is to be world champion. And, and of course, to be world champion, you need to beat the, the, the best drivers on the grid. And to be fair at the moment, I think he's probably the most talented guy um, out there. And, and to race in the same team as him for me is, uh, amazing opportunity so I could uh, I could have not asked for a better thing because I'm in my second year in F1 I still need to develop and still need to learn a lot of things and to have a super competitive teammate next to me for sure will push me um, and and yeah will make me develop myself and learn a lot faster so uh, in the end yeah, it's, a, it's a fantastic thing. Well clearly a lot, you know, because in karting at the beginning we didn't really know each other. In the end we learned each other as a driver and then after later as like persons and more uh, more as friends. And I think we, we clearly learned how to like, respect each other uh, in a way. And that's that the main thing, you know, if you respect each other and you, you know how to separate what happens on track and off track, um, everything goes well. So. I have the chance to, to have spent two, two years with Honda already. Um, first time in Super Formula, so I went, I went to Japan a lot, um, spent time in the country to, to learn the culture, to learn the way they, they communicate, the way they work. And it's really different than, than what we have in Europe, so you, you really need to adapt yourself to the culture and, and understand how things work there if you want to extract the best of the people. And uh, yeah, for sure, this helped me in Toro Rosso as well. You know, there are a lot of things you need to understand about them, and I had the chance to, to be there and, and be in the country to, to learn this. So for sure, I think on this side, this will help, help the, the, the relation I will have with the engineers. Um, but then after, for sure, we need to give them time as well. You know, Formula One is 
the pinnacle of form of uh, motorsport. Uh, you fight against him like Ferrari, Mercedes, Renault, and um, you know when you start a new partnership, it always takes time before things run super smoothly and in a most efficient way. So. I think it will take time, but both mentality, Red Bull and Honda have the same targets, and um, and I'm sure yeah, they will they will manage to achieve uh, what they what they want.